Hello and welcome everybody. We're going to be playing uh, Alone in the Dark. This is the original survival horror series, kind of the grandpappy of them all, you could say. As you can see, I'm playing it on uh, DOS box. Well, it's it's a DOS game, and we are going to start with the first game, of course. The scary 3D spinning rainbow armadillo. <clears throat> I like this just lurking there in the book, too. We don't need to watch the credits. So, this is played on a keyboard with very few buttons. It's going to look really silly, and I've made it so the pixels should be as sharp as they could be. If you watch this in 1440p, that's the best resolution, I guess, but really any will do. I just made it so that the, uh, uh oh, we don't want to see the intro just yet. But I made it so that the um, graphics are as good as possible before being sent to YouTube. You will see some black borders, it's just the best way to do it. So here I have to pick a character. In the dark, in the dark. Let's pick her first. Just the attorney's letter oh. came as a deep shock to me. My uncle Jeremy had died by his own hand. The coroner's report was unequivocal. He hanged himself in the loft. That's messed up, yo. But yeah, this is the CD version, so we get uh, audio, voices, music, good stuff. Initial surprise and distress passed. I considered the news. It seemed clear that Dersetto had exercised a thoroughly morbid influence on my uncle's mind. I've read the manual. Dersetto's the house that, uh, well, he's leaving. That creaking old mansion with its unusual tales, its secret library door, the ancient upstairs clock, all those occult books that my uncle could not resist reading in spite of his fragile nerves. How do you love that crackly, ancient, horribly compressed audio? Also, this takes place in uh, Louisiana, so... Fate had pointed its finger. DeSetto had trapped its prey. Mr. McCarthy, the family lawyer, suggested selling the old house. I immediately opposed the idea. My duty is clear. I must go to DeSetto. I tremble at the thought of those dark corridors, those brooding portraits. Yet I am convinced that Uncle Jeremy left a note, a letter of some kind explaining his fateful decision. I remember his voice saying, Look at the piano, Emily. Look harder. Maybe the secret drawer will yield up an explanation. I have the feeling things will not be so simple. Life is a mystery containing more mysteries. Jeremy taught me that much. This is a lot. Now is the time to confront the mysteries. Dersetto is waiting for me. I pray that my fear is nothing more than the fruit of my imagination. Nothing will ever persuade me that my uncle was insane. But why did he, according to the police report, block the loft window with the old wardrobe? I don't know. I remember my faith that I knew oh, the attorney let's escape. There we go. All right, so he could play as his uh, niece. Jeremy was a painter, by the way. He went crazy, I guess, and killed himself. He painted a lot of really kind of scary paintings and such. On my door, a dull brass plate says, Private Detective. The few friends I have call me Carnby. The others call me The Reptile. I don't care to think what my banker calls me. These days, I leave my letters unopened. Bills and threats to send in the receivers just ruin my day. When an antique dealer called Gloria Allen contacted me, 
I slipped into my best shirt, holstered my thirty-eight, and got to her shop as fast as I could. I was expecting something sordid. Blackmail, probably. No, so the game takes place in 1928. Boy, was I wrong. What I was asked to do was visit a property called Dersetto and find a piano in the loft. It was an old piano with secret drawers. The kind people who buy stuff in antique stores go crazy over. The Dersetto house is supposed to be piled high with classy junk. Furniture, books, paintings. It looked like whoever owned Dersetto was about to get cleaned out. All this audio back then would have blown my mind. It might be kind of boring for you folks right now, but trust me, it's not just this. I was going to bring up the subject of money when Gloria Allen handed me $150 and a key. I kept myself from grinning at the thought of my banker's surprise. He doesn't like his victims getting away. I looked over a copy of the police report. The former owner of Dersetto, a guy called J. Hartwood, had hanged himself in the loft. The coroner concluded it was a clear-cut case of suicide. I promised Gloria Allen I'd give the place a look over. My report will be ready in a couple of days. I've been reading up on the history of the old house. It's the kind of place ghosts run away from in terror. Grisly murders, curses, lunacy. <laughs> Luckily, Devil worship makes me smile, so this is my idea of a paid vacation. Okay. Gloria Allen's asking this dude to look at the house for some reason. The and initial surprise her name? fate had pointed its finger. My duty is clear. I'm I remember now I Emily. remember his voice. Now is the time to confront the me she seems like the better, more suitable character, but I always gotta face the dude for reasons. On my oh, do I have to go all the way through? Okay. My report will be <sighs> the There we go. Louisiana guys. It's a pretty Pixely picture. Oh, what's that? 3D? We have a vehicle in 3D. Oh. Folks, okay. No worries. First jump scare, guys. I've only touched this game before. I think at a friend's house. Like, I remember a window and something scary. And I don't know if we played much through it. Oh, there's a window and there's something scary. Car certainly does want to stick around and see what's up. Okay, I read the manual. Hopefully, I'll be able to get through this alive. I'm not controlling anything, by the way. This is, I guess, a movie. So, first things first, up to the attic, right? Gotta look at that piano. Well, look at that. Walking up the stairs animation, that is beautiful. I'm sure that night's not gonna be safe later. Oh my gosh. D guys, 3D. All right. 
Okay, so you watch them go all the way up to the attic, huh? I got controls, I got save. Uh. This music's kind of weird seeing in the, with this old game. Okay, so actions, fight. Let's try fighting. <clears throat> so cool. Now is he still in fight mode? Okay, see what you do is you pick one of these things to be at the ready, then you hold spacebar to do it. For fighting, you have to hold hold the space bar and then pick the move you're going to do, but you have to hold the arrow key the whole time and the space bar as you do it. Same with closing doors and pushing things. <laughs> wow, he's a mime. Uh, oh crud. Uh Okay, um fight. <laughs> Did it die? No. <laughs> okay, this was the thing that I guess scared me when I was a kid. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, huh. Okay, so I guess this game has a concept of of uh, danger to it. But well, we're gonna load our game and see what's up. Okay, so we're loading the game. And this time I'm not gonna fart around. I'm gonna do something I remembered from way back. That was a spooky sound. But what I'm going to do push this piano, or, you know, cabinet. Now oh, that dog thing can't come in, can he? Oh, okay. Can't open it again, huh? Oh, I didn't open up the window. <laughs> I don't think I want to. So, is it gonna come in? That was weird. Cover. Chopper put. Well, we may as well keep us in search mode. Maybe running wasn't the best thing to do earlier. Oh, crud. Why are there so many monsters? Yeah, take it, sure. Why does everything want to kill me already right away in this game? just came right out of the ground for like fine let's fight it
Okay, so I don't really use it to fight. I just want to see if it was like... What happens if I do th Oh. I hope it didn't break. Doesn't look like it. I wonder if that guy heard me from down below. I'm trying to run, but... I'm having trouble doing it. Alright, I guess we could just have a good old fight with this guy too. Ooh. Come on. <laughs> he missed. Ooh. That time he didn't miss. I think I like my kick the best. <sighs> Darn. Camera change. <sighs> Looks like each time I get hit, it's just one hit point. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and load again. And see if he doesn't come if we don't rush around like a lunatic. I think we heard uh, something freak out down below. Like there's a sound effect because maybe it heard me running. I'm gonna go ahead and try looking out the window. I left myself time to push this. Things trying to come in. That sounds like the zombie again. But the dog didn't get in. Let's take a look at the piano. Nothing here? I notice the candle is missing. It comes up regardless. Fine. We're gonna kick this zombie's butt. Oh, I know what we could do to make it not come. We're gonna play this game the cool way, getting everything done correctly so we don't lose any health. Look, I can't get you to run. Push this over here. We open you up. Take that. Try to run again. It worked. Okay. What trouble I was having before. Now, the odd thing is, there's no. Well, not odd, but there's no pull command. I guess we never have to specifically pull anything. What if I want to go down that trapdoor? Can I make a second save? Oh, okay. Um... Well, the dogs... No, that's the first time we loaded the game, so... Can you not open that trapdoor, I guess? Maybe this is already over it.
it's already trying to come out. <laughs> I can't. It's only one save game. That can't be right. Ah, uh, no big deal. We could treat it like there's only one save game. Let's stop playing around. shots. Oh no. Let's see about this goofy piano. Nothing here. Here, nothing here, nothing here. On this side. Oh, there we go. Coming! I have freed hellish forces, and now the price must be paid. Der Seto is the prey of evil. The sun has set. They will find my body, but will not have my soul. I can imagine the master's fury and the terror in the hearts of his slaves. <gasps> I hear their footsteps. Some may understand what I have done. May God forgive me. Farewell, Jeremy Hartwood. Oh, well, there's the suicidal letter they couldn't find. Kind of odd he put it in the piano. I guess because he told his daughter that's where he would leave it. Okay. Come on, dude, run. I'm gonna make you reliably run. push you too. Nope. On a search mode. I find a book amongst a million. Fragment of the Myth of the Golden Fleece. Translation, Edouard de Villeban. Hesperides Publications. They're actually voicing this? Then, Perseus came across Ichios, who had been turned into stone. He spoke to his companions and said, Beware of the Medusa. He who looks into their eyes is doomed to the same fate as that which befell poor Ichios, and will never more set eyes on Seraphos. Must we go blindfolded? asked Emelopes. Take up your bronze shields and polish them until they flash in the sun, answered Perseus. Fill your hearts with courage. Emelopes. Neat name. May Artemis guide us as though we were an arrow from her quiver. But Emelopes was not satisfied. Look at a weird May short Artemis page with this. But Emelopes was not satisfied. Why do that, Perseus? 
Is three inches of sharpened metal not enough to destroy these accursed creatures? Then Perseus drew his sword, which shone and glittered in the sun, and with it he dazzled Imolopes. Now what can you see? The companions of Zeus' sons laughed. Let us set to work so that our shields may shine like mirrors. Okay, not sure what point he was proving there unless it was just intimidation. Why am I being told this story? Is there something I could reflect onto a monster later maybe? Yeah, I'm having trouble running. <laughs> Why am I running now? Oh, that's how you do it. You have to be walking already. And then quickly release and push it again. You do it at the start of the walking motion, it doesn't work. That's really weird. This whole game's about holding stuff, though, so... I guess it makes as sense, much sense as anything else. Did I not pick this up yet? Well, good thing I looked there, then. I don't recall there being anything in this corner. Look, look at my bow tie just floating in front of me. <laughs> Not a fan of that sound. Let's search here. I guess we can't lift up that carpet or anything. That sounds not a good thing, is it? Did I do that, or is something happening? Okay, I guess I did. The spooky sound is telling me I should probably get out of here. Got this letter. Congrats. Now what? Scared guys. I don't like that sound, guys. <laughs> All right. Oh, is that a door? I didn't want to open it. Ah, uh, close it. Come on, dude. You have to be on the other side of it. There we go. I'm surprised there was an automatic open operation there. Okay, what have we got? Oil can. Nothing. 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 We could try opening that in a moment. Let's open up this. Uh, oh, we're still in open mode, so I guess we can open it. Open and search are the same. It's in the closet. Nothing. For real. Okay. Open search, fight, close and push. Let's see if we could, uh, bow, use. I don't see any ammo.
Okay, so yeah, I have no ammo. I can't shoot. Let's check out how the gun works. Okay, so you hold space bar, you rotate and push up to shoot. I think you could also push down. Let's keep going. <laughs> What's behind this door? Why am I still in this house, though? Is there something I'm set on doing? Jeez, I'll have to slam it. It's locked. I don't like windows. Okay. It's a little too convenient. Maybe because it's still early on, it's like, hey, we'll make this easy for you. Ah, I want to look at the painting too, just in case it does anything. It is a spooky painting though. Ah, looks like some nudity. Rated M for mature. Hey, it worked. Is this going to be good or bad? Whoa. Awesome. Now a monster's could jump in, right? Broke already. Holding down is supposed to parry to block things. Give me a break. Is it really supposed to break that? E <laughs> Give me a break. Saber blade, broken saber. Wonder if it's really supposed to break that easy. Well, let's at least save it for a fight. I just think it might last forever. But maybe we could use the Saber Blade for a puzzle later. Oh, hey, what up? Haha. <laughs> just use this move to be sure I don't hit a wall or anything. They didn't break. So maybe that's the right way to do it. And what if I didn't close that door? Would he have just appeared? Oh, hey. Do you not open doors? No? Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's look over here. Just want to see if there's a window something would jump through. Pass could be in there. Nope. Well, 
Well, is this a doorway here? Suppose not. Oh, yes, it is. Since the music stopped, if that uh, zombies left the area. Ah oh, no! Stupid dogs! Have to watch out for these windows. Now I'm just going to be using the overhead strike, so I don't accidentally break the sword over anything. damage. And it broke already. Well, I guess we have to go in fight mode now. Cool, cool. Lost a lot of hits, though. scary music still happening, so maybe... Maybe the, uh... Zombies outside the door. It's not a key on there. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this vase. I'm guessing it's gonna break and there'll be something in it. I don't really know what I'm doing with my saves. I'm just going to count down with them for now. Let's see, fuzz, 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 face, fuzz, whatever. Throw it. And a key. Hey, look at me. I'm a smarty pants, aren't I? drop them. I can't, like, hold them to do something. Alright. <sighs> See our friend there. Oh no, close it, dude. Why is that zombie gonna leave us alone? Good zombie. Nice zombie. You just stay over there. Don't mind me or nothing. I guess the answer is that they do not know how to use doors. Good. Yep, first things first. Always open things up. And have a monster jump out, right? Oh. Cool. That could come in handy. No water. Aw. Bummer. Don't need to dry my hands either, I guess. Let's see about the tub. Alright, well, that's a good stop. So we still have a Whoa. Is a broken saber going to be better than just fighting? Yeah, 
It might be. Although I like my kick. Save. I rotate around five of them. Oh, hello. Have you seen me? Are they supposed to just stand there? I don't trust my angles here, so let's go like this and throw the saber blade. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's try that again. But from here, then. He did not like that. Again. <sighs> That's not a good sound. Did he just break the window, or is that something else? I wonder if he's glitched out. Just, oops, got me. That hurt, all right. Is he just gonna stay put? Suppose so. this is not hurting it much at all, or if this is not what I'm supposed to do. I am prepared to waste all my gun, and st gun power, powder and stuff, and then just load my game. I want to see if this guy could just die or not. I get the feeling you're not supposed to fight them. Alright, so it's not in fight mode anymore. Let's see what happens if we just... Look around. Then load the game afterwards. Because we wasted all the ammunition. So he does fight if I approach him. Okay, how about you? allowed to jump here? The game did say you could jump sometimes. No? Do I use these mirrors? Are they broken already? Maybe they don't like, uh, light.
now see any light coming out of it. All right, probably just activates when I'm in a dark place, huh? Then, Perseus came across Ichios, who had been turned into st- Mayart, but Emelopes was not satisfied. Why do that, Perseus? Is three inches of sharpened metal not enough to destroy these accursed creatures? Let's just try fighting it and die. Say that when you're at one hit, not earlier. Well, let's just return the way we came. What? Um. Okay. Let's see if that happens again. Hey zombie, what up? Jeez. What a way to go. Alright, I'll be back. Okay. So I, I will admit I was lame and looked up how to do it. Though I did figure... Oh, see, they're not broken now. See, I thought I remembered they weren't broken, so I was worried about putting them on the... Uh, I was worried maybe I messed up and can't use them to fight. You know, use them for a puzzle anymore. Which might be true. I wonder what broke them. Was it just getting hit? The things you're carrying could break just like that. If they're broken, would I be able to solve this puzzle? That's one reason I wanted to load. But when I was over here looking at these little statuettes, I remember going over the mirrors and it just said, oh, it's this drop and put. I had always thought it was just drop. Give me a sec. Alright, never mind. I'm a dummy. I could have solved this on my own. I just don't know how to read. Now, if it was broken, would this work? That's what I'm wondering. I'm not closed that door in case I need to run out. I am concerned. That just sounds like a normal scream. See, that's what that book was for. It was to let us know we need to use the mirrors. Guess what's going to happen soon? dog's going to come out. We won't be able to take them back, I'm sure. I don't keep going. I want to save before I've walked all the way down. <laughs> I'm intimidated, guys. Save back at, uh, go to one, which is actually a new save. So that door won't open, will it? We try, yeah. That night's gonna be bad.
Thought I know, guys. Oh, scary music's back. Let's see if it's worth fighting this night. meant to throw the vase, not the saber. wonder if throwing a key actually hurts. Fight it for real. I just want to see if beating him gets me anything good. Probably that sword. I don't want to waste my ammo on him, but I just want to see if we get something out of it. I liked how I was clipping behind that wall there. Cripes. It's not working. Am I actually a negative one? Oh, that means I'm dead. I think I remember seeing this sequence once before. Where are you taking me? Yeah, I think when I died to the doggy at the start, I saw that and I was not pleased and didn't want to play it again. Or maybe I just wasn't able or allowed to or something.